All right, what is up there, YouTube? This is a J-Man Time, and today I have another video on some more World War II weapons on another rare German World War II weapon. And this weapon is one of the rarest German assault rifles that was developed towards the very end of the conflict. And that weapon is the German Wimmersberg SPZ KR, which was a bullpup blowback assault rifle carbine that was developed between 1944 and 1945, at the very end of World War II, towards the very end of the Third Reich. The Wimmersberg was a series of experimental bullpup assault rifle carbines that was based on the British Sten Gun and the Sturmgewehr 44. So it was literally a fusion of the Sten Gun, the blowback action submachine gun used by the British, and the German Sturmgewehr 44, one of Germany's most advanced assault rifle projects of the Second World War. The weapon series was created by a man named Heinrich Freiherr von Wimmersberg, who was a German arms designer and the mid to late 1930s and was still developing weapons during the Second World War. In 1936, he came up with a light machine gun known as the Wimmersberg Model 1937, which was a double-barreled light machine gun, although I can't find any photographs of that weapon yet. But towards the end of the war, he came up with this weapon, the Wimmersberg series, which was a series of experimental bullpup assault rifles that were meant to be very cheap and very cost-effective alternative to the German Sturmgewehr 44, which was getting kind of expensive towards the end of the war. The weapon was supposed to be manufactured by Spreewerke, which was a German arms manufacturing company or plant at the time, and it was based on the British Sten Gun. Now the Germans have been using captured Sten Guns since at least 1942-1943, and they even came up with their own Sten Gun clone known as the MP3008, which was literally just a Sten Gun with the magazine well facing downward. Vemersberg got the bright idea to make a simple blowback select fire assault rifle carbine using the Sten Gun and Sturmgewehr 44 components as the basis. And in 1944, he came up with the first prototype. Later on, he would develop two more prototypes. Each of these prototypes were different than the first. The first version was known as the Vemersberg SPZ L, L or long variant, and then there was the SPZ KR which was the short variant with a burst fire selector on it. So this is one of the first weapons to have the burst fire capabilities. Another weapon for World War II that had the same ability was the Italian Breda Model 1935, which was a select fire battle rifle that had burst fire capabilities and was used by both the Italians and the Costa Rican Army during the Second World War. And then there was the final version known as the Wimmersberg SPZ KV, and this was a short, short variant that had a striker fire system. So it was a blowback assault rifle carbine, bullpup assault rifle carbine that had a striker fire action instead of the standard blowback action. So all three variants of this weapon were developed towards the end of the war, although not a single prototype managed to survive World War II. Some historians believe that the weapon never made it past the proposed stage, or it never made it past the drawing board, while others believe that the prototypes were built, but were probably lost during the war, or might still exist somewhere in the attic of some, some descendants of some German or Russian veteran from the Second World War. But no one is for sure. There are a few Wimmersberg models that exist in various museums in Germany, but these are all just reproductions, mock-ups of what the Wimmersberg would have looked like if it had been a standard-issued rifle or carbine towards the end of the Second World War. The Wimmersberg was one of Germany's last-ditch primitive weapons along with the Volkssturmgewehr and other experimental rifles, carbines, and submachine guns designed at the very end of World War II during a time period in which Germany was running out of resources and was trying to develop cheaper and cheaper weapons for both the regular German army and the pro-German militias like the Volkssturm. So what do you all think of the Vemersberg? This is one of my favorite forgotten World War II weapons, and it would be cool if this weapon appeared in more World War II first-person shooter games. The only game in which this, this weapon appears in is Call of Duty World War II, and it only appears in that game as a unlockable weapon in the multiplayer. 
But what do you all think of the Femmersburg? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.